something a little bit different. Today we are here in Europa Universalis 4. It's a game that I got a few months ago, made by Paradox uh, Interactive. And it's a historical game, as you can quite clearly tell, these are not the borders of the world that we see today. But it's it's an incredible game that I've always wanted to record, and I'm going to do it today. I'm going to choose a nation that I have fallen in love with recently, and that nation is this little one here, Austria. Now, Austria is pretty damn good, for many, many reasons. Uh, it is situated in the Holy Roman Empire, which is this thing, which is a really insane mechanic where each country or each little city-state type thing is a, it, it's one part of a big unit and there's one country that which is currently Austria in this different colour is the Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire and he can, doesn't control the city-states directly but he sort of has final say on stuff which is a really cool mechanic and yeah, we are going to be jumping into Austri Austria today. Now, I believe I have got a saved game somewhere. Um, not not those. Oh, it's not that either. Okay. We will... Looks like I don't have a saved game, so we'll go from the historical start. Um, I will put Iron Man mode on so we can get achievements. It will count the, towards your leaderboard score, which I... I've not actually looked at ever, but let's put it in here. Oh, I maybe I did have a kit. Either way, we will call it um, just Austria. If I can spell, I guess I didn't have to look up there to see if I see to spell Austria properly. My mind just went blank. But let's jump right into it. Right, the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, not that, is turn this goddamn music down. It is absolutely epic, but it's a bit too loud for my life. So we'll put it down there. Right, so first off, what do we do? We need to check a few things for a start. Let's have a look at Hungary. What do they? They are rivaled Bohemia, Wallachia, and Poland is not a good thing. I would have liked them to be um, rivaled with Venice, which would have helped me in the long run. I'm going to do the usual setup of a game. I'm going to get these ships. I'm going to mothball them so they don't cost me money. I'm going to split my army into a more reasonable size. Ten infantry, four cavalry. Put these one infantry, one cavalry into this one, so it brings up to ten and four. And I'm going to put that guy over there and bring him up to ten and four as well. We have missions. Why have we got that mission? Is it because we are rival to Burgundy? Burgundy, <laughs> which is something new. We haven't actually had that before. And these are rival to Saxony, Poland, Hungary. They are Brandenburg. Find the strategical advantage. Saxony wants their province directly. The area doesn't. Okay, so what have we got? We've got solidify our papal relations. We don't want that. We don't want that. So maybe just. Improve our prestige. I'm going to get the proof of prestige because straight away we're going to go for Bohemia because Bohemia right now has a interregnum or interregnum, however you pronounce that. I believe it's Latin, which basically means it is ruled by no one right now. Whereas if you look on me, I'm ruled by Frederick the Third von Habsburg of the beautiful von Habsburg line. Bohemia, no one. And they've got no heir as well. So to get a new ruler, what it does is picks from the royal marriages that they have. And right now, they have no royal marriages. And at the moment, they won't accept one for ours, but we improve relations with them. They will next month at some point. Now, Poland has, an, has the same government right now. They're ruled by no one. 
they do have an event to unify with Lithuania and get the Jagadia, which they, I think it's 60% of the time they choose to unify with Lithuania and 40% of the they don't. It depends on what the AI chooses, really. Hungary is the same situation. They have no League Bear, but they have an event to gain a Von Habsburg on the throne and then a separate event to lose a Von Habsburg on the throne. But we are going to Royal Marriage them straight away make sure they get a Von Habsburg, and when we get a chance we're going to Royal Marriage Bohemia to make sure they get a Von Habsburg as well, because it means we can claim their throne and beat them up a bit. So let's look at our rivals right now. Uh, Denmark, they hold one province, Holstein, which is part of the Empire but not controlled by a person in the Empire, it's controlled by Denmark, so we do want to rival them. At some point we will get a Cassus Belly on them, which basically means a cause for war. If you don't know what that means, and we can attack them and get Holstein back for the Empire. Now, I'm going to rival Venice and France, because I, I don't like France. But the Burgundy have a event, which means if they're losing a war, then their rulers ruler will die, an heir will die, and if you're the emperor, you'll get the ch chance to inherit some of their land. Now if we have a look at uh, what land they own, green is theirs, and blue, well light blue is people they have a personal union over, which means they are essentially in control without being in direct control of their lands. All this and this blue is their allies. So all of this bit here we will have a chance to get sort of. Now there are some provinces that we won't inherit which are Picardy, Artois, Cambry, uh, Rethel, I'm probably butchering these names, Niv Niv Nivers, Nivers, and, and the, these, these, these three here and these four here. We won't get these, France will get them, because they are part of the French culture group. And they're not a part of the Holy Roman Empire. You can see the rest of these are, that's why we won't get them. But that event is semi-random. We do want them to fight France and lose, so we don't want to be allied with them, because then France might not choose to fight them. But normally they will, just to get some land from them. Um, trade efficiency, yep. Yeah. Morale of armies. Oh, no, no. We'll have discipline. Discipline is good. Now we want to look at our estates here. We want to get a general. Uh, boost this up to 75% influence so we can then demand 150 military power. So here. Um, we'll send it to the Pope and the Minister from them. Now these we have to give land. <laughs> Actually we will do what we can first. So we'll do that. And then maybe give them 12 points. Yeah sure we'll go there. So um an admiral, maybe we'll give them another land. One. Yes, there we go. So now they're at 78%, which means they'll give this 150. Where is it? There it is. Okay, so we've got that all well and good. We should have a decent general now. He is absolutely fucking shocking. That's, again, pretty shocking. We are over the limit of military leaders we can have, so we'll get rid of the Admiral, because we are mothballing the fleet, and means we won't be able to use it. Um, what else do we want to do? I think that's pretty much it. Now, we want to ally some people, tactically. Now, if we look here, um, so yeah, we'll look here. This is Milan, and Milan has a core on a province they do not own. Now, a core is something that they claim is their lands, 
or once was their land and has been taken from them in war or, or through some sort of diplomatic action. And they have a core on Venice. And Venice, we want to take their land because there's an event which basically means we need to take these three provinces and all of these here. Or, if we do not do that by 1490, then all of these green provinces that are down here will get taken out of the empire and we all lose all these people. Which is not good, which weakens the empire a lot and makes it almost, well, it makes it harder to pass the imperial reforms, which are these things. And these gives different, these give different bonuses depending on what you are. If you're the emperor, you get a certain bonus. If you're a member of the empire, you get a different bonus. Or if in case of the first one, you get the same. And then the second one, you get different. A member gets diplomats plus one, diplomatic reputation plus one. Members only get national unrest minus two. <laughs> and it needs, you need 50 imperial authority, which is here, to pass a reform. And you also need the majority of the princes, which are those 58 here, you need a majority of these princes to accept the reform before you can pass it. We're currently getting 0.18 each month imperial authority because um, there is peace internally in the empire, so it goes to 0.10. There are eight free cities, which gives 0 0.04. There are 58 members, which gives us 0 0.013. No, uh, 0 0.13, sorry. But there are 17 provinces in the empire under control of non-member states or subject of non-member states, which decreases our imperial authority. So if we look at this map again, Newmark over here is owned by the Teutonic Order, which is not a part of the empire. They're here. Holstein is a subject of a person not in the empire, because Denmark's up here. And the Burgundian lands and their um, their personal unions are not a part of the empire because Burgundy is not a part of the empire. If they were part of the empire, their capital, which is this thing, you can see it by the crown, would be green. Unfortunately, it's not. So they are not part of the empire, and neither is Papal States or Venice. <clears throat> but we want the Papal States and Venice to be a part of the empire. We really, really do. So we are going to try and get them to be part of our empire, or a part of the Holy Roman Empire. Let's just go forward in time. We've got a new empress, which is Anna. Hungary wants an alliance, yet we will get the alliance with them. Got a free diplomat. So we will Royal Marriage Brandenburg and Milan. And, I believe, Savoy. Or maybe not Savoy, because I believe they're more than likely going to ally Venice. But, do you know what? We will do it anyway. We'll roll out the Savoy. And then at some point, Cassus Burleys, we've got political, we've got provincial, prov yeah, provincial unrest, which is fine. Um, we can have one more, I believe. Oh, what am I doing? Yeah, we can have one more alliance or marriage. I don't know what we want. Because Brandenburg is pretty warlike. It's pretty decent. Um, who's Mar who is Papal State? No. Maybe Byzantium. Although... Out of the trip, okay. <laughs> Byzantium normally gets eaten by the Ottomans pretty early, but maybe us being allied to them will be an incentive for the Ottomans not to get involved with them. Because Ottomans are, are, are a real powerhouse down here, they've got pretty much unlimited expansion down to this area and then further west, further east. Whereas we have not we've got somewhat limited areas. Um, can, actually, can we ally England? Nope. We'll have to improve relations with them to ally them. <laughs> but we, we are, we are a rival of their rival. Does help, I believe. Okay, well, let's just carry on. 
the Void Alliance, yep, sure. I did not mean to ally the Teutons there. I thought I was clicking on Brandenburg. Turns out I wasn't. <laughs> and that means they're not going to ally us straight away. God damn it. Okay, when can we dissolve this alliance? They got an. Uh, nope, still these are not ruled by anyone. God damn it. We can raw marriage Bohemia now. Which means we do have too many alliances, but we will get rid of that one. Because we want alliance with Brandenburg. These mar these oh my god, this is not allied with anyone. He's allied with these are allied with Luca. Allied with Aragon, god damn it. Uh, we might have to do some we might have to wait until they're allied with someone else to do some sneaky stuff to get them get Aragon to not join a war with the Papal State. Because we need to vassalize the Papal State. But at the moment we need to return some land to people that they just take it from. So this one we can return to province, which is this weirdly coloured one here. And I think that's the only one that thought well, yes. So we return that one and then we can vassalize these because if you look over here uh, the total war, war score for all of the papal provinces is 105%, and obviously 105% is above 100%, so you cannot choose to vassalize or take these provinces. Um, we just need to wait for Bohemia to get our um, ruler. We don't need to improve relations, so we will start building a by network in Venice. These three still not got rulers. We are losing a lot of land. We have got a new heir. We'll call him Ferdinand because because everybody called Ferdinand is perfectly fine if you're Austrian. <laughs> call him Franz Ferdinand and then we'll be fine. That would start World War One. It literally is just a matter of waiting right now for Bohemia to get our dynasty to have von Habsburg rules. And they're not allied with anyone, which is absolutely fucking amazing. Hungary is allied with us. Ragusa and Albania. Albania tends to get eaten quite fast, and lo and behold, they are already at war with the Ottomans over Albania. Are they? Yeah, the Ottoman conquest is Lizith, which is Albanian land. <laughs>